Welcome to another bug alert brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. Today's bug is one that I've been pulling my hair out for three days now with. It started a couple days ago when I couldn't copy files. I use the file copy command a lot in my databases, especially my access updater to post updates to my server. And it started giving me issues. Now I found a workaround for that. Instead of using the basic file copy command, I switched over to the FSO copy file command and that seemed to fix the problem. But now today I'm getting this cannot open any more databases error with code that I haven't changed in a long time, with forms that I haven't modified in a long time, and it just starts happening randomly. One thing that I noticed is Access isn't shutting down properly. If you close the Access application, it looks like the window shuts down, but if you go to your task manager, msaccess.exe is still running in the background, and it should disappear, it should close down. Right, there's MS Access running right now because I have a database open. Let me go and close it. Okay, it's closed, and now it disappears from the open apps, but if you scroll down, you'll see that it will be listed down here under background processes, even though I've shut it down. Okay, there's my database right there. You'll also see it under msaccess.exe. Now, I think one of the things that I did, I put a, a fix in place this morning, so I think that I got it working. Let me share with you some of the other problems. All right, so I'm getting the... MSAccess.exe doesn't exit properly. I'm also getting the cannot open any more databases. Now in my research from what I've seen online, people are also saying can't open any more tables. It's already in use by the admin and of course file copy commands fail. Now, unfortunately, this bug's only a couple days old and so there's no fix available. Microsoft usually posts a fix as soon as they can. And all you have to do is run an office update. But as of right now, there's no fix available. So if this is a mission critical database and things aren't working for you, you'll have to revert to a previous version of office. There are instructions on Microsoft's website. I'll put a link down below. However, I did read online that some people had success doing this. And this is what I tried on my machine this morning. And the problem seems to have gone away. So make sure your databases are in a trusted location, a trusted folder. I show how to do that in my Access Level 1 Beginner class, my free class. And I'll show you in just a second how to do that. Make sure your subfolders are also marked safe. That's important, even if you're not using them. Make sure that any subfolders in the trusted location are also marked safe. And you have to make sure you do this for the front end and back end databases. A lot of times people don't put their back end database, like whatever, if it's on a server or something, you got to put that in a trusted location as well. So to make a trusted location, go to File, go to Options, Trust Center, Trust Center Settings, Trusted Locations. All right, now here's mine. My front end sits in C database. I've got my desktop as a trusted location too for any things I'm working on, like for videos or something. All right, my Google Drive also, which don't run a database out of your Google Drive if you're sharing it on a network. That's bad. That's very bad. Don't do that. And here's where my back end files are on my server, server database. So make sure allow trusted locations on my network is turned on. This is not recommended. That's if you don't know what you're doing. Okay. But click on modify over here or add new location if you have to add it new and make sure subfolders of this location are also trusted. That's important. Now, since doing this, I'm going to knock on wood. Since doing that, because I didn't have subfolders marked as trusted locations. For both of those because I don't use them my database is sitting in those primary folders and that's it since doing that I have not seen the error and it's been a couple hours now so I think that fixed it for me but of course wait for Microsoft's update I'm also going to post two threads down below on Microsoft's website for different conversations that some of the other MVPs and customers are, are posting so you can check up on it yourself and I will try to remember to post another video update as soon as a fix is released from Microsoft so I hope this helps and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.